Hi kids, so here we are going to discuss about chapter 7 of grade 10 that is coordination in life processes. Exactly, ante jiva kriyala lo saman vayam gurinchi tells kundam. Yes, so in the coordination chapter of 5 that is in the previous lesson of coordination we spoke about lot and lot of functions talking about transportation, respiration with respect to excretion, alage nutrition, metabolism etc. So let's see what this tells more about it. The objective includes the first one is about introduction, then feeling hungry, activity 1, outcome of sensation of hunger and taste and smell are closely related, yella, we'll see. Another activity 2 about chewing a cumin, some potato and apple, well, what we are going to chew are also mentioned. So it's interesting to wait what is the activity tells about. Then activity 3, taste is something connected to the tongue and the palate, yes. Activity 4, crystal, sugar crystals over the tongue. Activity 5, to show breakdown of food by using the model of chalk piece, rest kept in the vinegar. Then activity 6 and 7, action of saliva on floor, that is atta, okay, commonly we use the word. Then activity 8, testing pH of mouth at intervals of 1 hour, right? So all these activities are too interesting, kada? Travel of foot through the esophagus, right? Then activity 9, making a model of esophagus to observe how bolus moves forward, Alage peristaltic movement in the esophagus, stomach, the mixture and the digester, lab activity, once again activity number 10 and paper tube and the folded papers, what is this? Are all the objectives where we start up with the first one that is with introduction. So see, now we are going into the introduction with a basic discussion about our human body. Exactly. We know that human is, you know, a, the human body is like a machine and it works as the machine works. Exactly. This is a very complicated structure. Now, have you ever questioned yourself that why we are said to be a very complex in nature? See. Our body consists of various life processes like you know respiration, digestion, reproduction, excretion. All these life processes are taking place with a proper coordination. Now just imagine if any of the function fails, what happens to the body's functioning? We learned about this coordination, you know, almost very isolated study was done, you know, in control and coordination topic. But here we have to go a bit further and to understand that how this coordination you know complexity of our body is and how the all the you know the life processes are integrated to each other to make a proper functioning of our human body with a proper system right so now here just recall oksari manam you know elementary canal or gut oksari manam then passage gutech kunte just imagine how all the life processes are integrated with each other to make our human system work properly. Exactly. Okasari manam elementary canal or gut kani process ni guttech kunte. Just imagine what is the you know the process step by step that is involved from in the whole gut area. How the food is getting broken into so you know small complex to simple, simple to complex right in different individuals. Likewise you know here we are going to take the example of the digestive system system because we know exactly that you know every system is dependent upon each other to make our body function in a proper manner and then a good condition of body function of valiente prati oka organ anedi and organ system anedi inko system may the depend out on the in the context that is what we are saying that coordination like you know they all are functioning together with a proper understanding with a proper coordination right and a control over their own system so, manam ikada digestive tract kan tis kunde. Now, let's consider the digestive system and elaborately we will learn that how are, you know, how all the other different processes are affecting in the proper functioning of this digestion. So, basically from the, you know, the sensation of hunger to the utilization, manam tis kuna ahara, mante akali waste in a process ninchi. Food manam tis koni adi energy kinda yala convert out thundi. Alagi almost, you know, how these all the other systems systems 
or all the other substances are you know coordinately or they are working together integrated system anedi ela form avutundi ane danni ok manu example ga teeskoni ee topic lo nerchukuntam anamata so we are starting up with an activity where we are going to talk about you know the hungerness aakali దేన్ని చూస్తే మనకి ఆకలిని అనే యూనో ద సెన్సేషన్ ఆఫ్ హంగర్ అనేది క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది సో హియర్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ ది ఫీలింగ్ హంగ్రీ అంటే ఆకలి ఎస్ యాక్టివిటీ వన్ ఏమంటుంది అంటే ఇట్స్ బేసికలీ నా లుక్ ఎట్ దిస్ టేబుల్ అండ్ టిక్ ద ఆప్షన్ విచ్ అవర్ యూనో దేన్ని చూడగానే మనకి హంగర్ అనేది క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఆప్షన్ దట్ మేక్ యూ ఫీల్ హంగ్రీ లైక్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఏమన్నారు స్మెల్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫుడ్ నా టేస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫుడ్ sight of the food being tired and exhausted apda need of the food thought of food so here smell batti maniki aakal generate avutunda taste food oka taste for example someone said to taste the delicious food now you have tasted and after seeing the taste suddenly your hunger starts ala jarutunda then sight of the food you know whatever that is in front of your eyes now immediately you want to eat you will start feeling hungry right is that so or being tired and exhausted baga tired aipam alspe unnam what happens suddenly we start feeling hungry now need of the food ledu food tinali kabatti naku ippudu aakale estundi is that then thought of food ante aaharam gurinchi maatladutnam kabatti automatically avunu ippudu naku aakale estundi ani ala anipistunda so when will you have that sensation of hungriness a option i choose the so basically what i feel is when we are being tired and exhausted exactly we have to take the food to make us feel energy as such that a food ite manam consume chestamo adi break down ayi kontha energy ni release chestundi avuna so yes so like this you complete this activity discuss with your friends and try to know the reasons so basically what we say that you know there are major cause of hunger the major cause of the hunger lies only based on the physiology of blood circulation ante something is happening in our body where it is a reason for our hungerness which is with respect to the blood circulation in the physiology of blood circulation yes we will learn that then we say major levels of different substances are maintained in the blood and mainly in the digestive system so most of the different substances which are you know present in the food they are maintained in the blood mainly by our digestive system endukantnam ilaga e aaharam aithe manam tintamo ade em avutundi breakdown avutundi energy release avutundi annam what about this nutrients exactly all these components they are going into the circulation yes or no that is into the blood circulation and the can now most of the physiology of hungerness is also again they are been lying within the physiology of blood circulation so due to which what happens now we say that the whole digestive system is the one which is you know a uh, reason for maintaining these all new substances in the blood now we are talking with respect to the you know the hunger that is you know with respect to this digestive system in this connection హంగ్రీ కి యూనో డైజెస్ సిస్టమ్ కి బ్లడ్ సర్క్యులేషన్ కి ఏమైనా సంబంధం ఉందా ఎస్ నా హియర్ వి సే దట్ సో హియర్ వి సే ద మేజర్ సబ్స్టెన్స్ ఈజ్ గ్లూకోజ్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ గ్లూకోజ్ ఈజ్ ద సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ ఇన్ అవర్ బాడీ ఒకవేళ ఆ గ్లూకోజ్ లెవెల్ తగ్గిపోతే ఏం జరుగుతుంది ఎస్ ఇఫ్ ద లెవెల్స్ ఫాల్ ఇఫ్ ద గ్లూకోజ్ లెవెల్స్ కమ్ డౌన్ ఇమీడియట్లీ హంగర్ ప్యాంక్స్ ఇన్ ద స్టమక్ దే స్టార్ట్స్ జనరేటింగ్ అంటే ఆకలి వేయడం మొదలవుతుంది అవునా సో విచ్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇన్వాల్వింగ్ సమ్ సీరియస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొడక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ ప్రోటీన్స్ సో విచ్ లీడ్స్ టు ప్రొడక్షన్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ సీరియస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రోటీన్స్ ఎలాగైతే కొన్ని ఎగ్జాంపుల్ లైక్ సమ్ హార్మోన్స్ లైక్ గెర్లిన్ గెర్లిన్ ఈజ్ అ హార్మోన్ దట్ ఈస్ సిక్రెటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సెల్స్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ ద వాల్స్ ఆఫ్ ది స్టమక్ అంటే స్టమక్ వాల్స్ లో ప్రెసెంట్ అయిన కొన్ని సెల్స్ నుంచి ఈ గెర్లిన్ హార్మోన్ అనేది సిక్రెట్ అవుతుంది అంటే రిలీజ్ అవుతూ ఉంటుంది ఎందుకు this is nothing but you know it is helping us to give the hunger you know sensations so contractions the signals of this hungerness are generated ipudithe ghrelin hormone anedi secret avadam start avutundo these hunger signals now they start generating and they are carried to the brain then where the senses of hungerness are to be compressed or suppressed by having some food that can be digested into the stomach so that reaches the stomach and immediately there will be a separation of this 
हार्मोन सो वी से डायसेफलॉन इन द फोर ब्रेन अलगे वैगस नर्व विच इज सेट टू बी द टेंथ क्रेनियल नर्व दीज आर सेट टू बी यू नो कैरिंग दीज इम्पल्स इंदम कंगर सिग्नल दीज हंगर सिग्नल they are carried by the diencephalon in the fore brain and the vagus nerve the 10th cranial nerve to the brain brain ki id carry chestai where we have to consume the food and suppress the secretion of this hormone now we say hunger pangs continue up to almost 30 to 45 minutes whereas we mentioned that increase in this ghrelin hormone nothing but there will be a result of sensation of hungerness ghrelin hormone peri potunte em avutundi slowly we say the hunger pangs increases and the sensation of hungerness also increases this is where we have to consume the food immediately to suppress the excretion of these ghrelin hormone so ikkade em antna once you consume the food what happens now yes here there is a secretion of other hormone called as leptin which is said to be you know suppressing the hunger feeling the sensation of hunger and evi suppress chestai so when you feel stomach is full no need to eat the food if these are the two conditions what happens this is nothing but where the secretion of leptin hormone starts doing so where it helps in suppressing the hunger feeling which is generated due to the secretion of this ghrelin hormone understand so ghrelin for increasing the sensation of hunger and this leptin to suppress the sensation of hunger understand so these are acting these are the two hormones that act within our stomach where this is said to be the first step towards the digestive system ante digestive system lo first step ante enti first aaharam teeskodam anedi untundi so aaharam teeskovali ante asli em jarutundi jarutunna physiology enti ante ne ee secretion of ghrelin hormone understand so deeni suppress cheyadaniki evaru ostunaru the other hormone called leptin so ghrelin for the increase or for the sensation generate the sensation of the hunger akali okay hunger pangs where leptin it helps in suppressing these hunger or we can say the sensation of hunger or hunger pangs we have you know a particular time to consume the food every day isn't it oka particular time lo mana aaharam ane teeskuntu untam now this can be experienced especially when you are in the school because by 12:30 or 1 you know irrespective to different schools timings and everything generally lunch break will be at 12:30 now during which what happened if there is an extra 5 minutes of class taken by any subject teacher what happens in your stomach exactly the hunger pang starts in your stomach which is nothing but the signal that you have to consume the food and it means body is getting habituated to such signals and what happens we have to consume the food time to time to you know avoid the increase of this hormonal levels in our balls of the stomach so we have to consume the food to avoid the increase of these hormones in our stomach so ghrelin hormone release avutundi ante enti already hungerness start ayindi so hungry feeling sensation edi start ayindi so this is actually we experience during our interval times in our school days right in our schools or even in our offices also irrespective to the workplaces so this is one of the point so we are going to talk here about the outcome of sensation of hunger ante aakali prachodanala prabhavam so what is this here we are talking about how the different organs are also involved here for making us to understand how the hungerness or you know how this particularly the sensation of hunger can be controlled now see basic man ke there so different organ systems are involved where hunger leads us to consume the food auna so how let's know her how other organs or organ systems are involving here and making us to understand this sensation of hunger basically and the can other organ systems and evi kuda ikkada involve avutayi and this hunger leads us to consume the food so a coordinating work anedi jarugutundi where we even sometimes experience you know if you consume a stale food stale food ante enti which is not fresh ओके अंत अपड़केंसी का फ्रेश का विच इज़ यू नो बी प्रिपेर्ड सम फ्यू अवर्स बिफोर विच इज़ नाट फ्रेश ओके और समटम्स वी कैन से विच इज़ नाट गुड टू ईट सो स्टेल फुड नीच बेसिकल मन यू नो वितव एनी हेजिटेशन वी रिजेक्ट इट 
అవునా బికాస్ వీ అండర్స్టాండ్ బికాస్ అవర్ సెన్సెస్ ఆఫ్ హంగర్ ఈవెన్ దే ఆర్ హై వీ క్యాన్ సెన్స్ ద ఫుడ్ విచ్ ఈస్ గుడ్ అండ్ బ్యాడ్ టు ఈట్ అంటే ఏంటి ఇక్కడ ఓన్లీ డైజెస్టివ్ సిస్టమ్ ఒకటే పనిచేస్తుందా నో హియర్ సమ్ అదర్ ఆర్గన్ సిస్టమ్ లైక్ సెన్స్ ఆర్గన్స్ అవర్ ఐస్ ఆర్ దేర్ టు సీ వెదర్ ద ఫుడ్ ఈస్ ఫ్రెష్ ఆర్ నాట్ అవర్ నోస్ అవర్ టంగ్ విచ్ సెన్సెస్ ద టేస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫుడ్ ద ఫ్లేవర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫుడ్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ద నోస్ ఎవ్రీ అదర్ ఆర్గన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఇన్వాల్వ్డ్ కోఆర్డినేటివ్లీ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ఫ్లేవర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫుడ్ సో హియర్ వీ ఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ టేస్ట్ అండ్ స్మెల్ ఆర్ క్లోజ్లీ రిలేటెడ్ అంటే రుచి మరియు వాసన పరస్పర సంబంధం గురించి సో వాట్ ఈస్ వి సే హియర్ టేస్ట్ అండ్ స్మెల్ ఆర్ are linked into twin to each other exactly now sometimes of koni cases is kunam the person who is suffering from cold fever now valiki taste smell anevi coordinate ga pan chestaya no a person suffering from cold jalbu kani cheste what happens they cannot sense the taste they feel that food is tasteless isn't it so we say here you know the organs are involved which helps us to understand you know the taste and smell simultaneously so what we say you know basically the effect is on the flavor of the food or we say combination of taste and smell so ilanti situations lo effect anedi ekkada telustundi it is because of the flavor of the food or combination of taste and smell because this is only the taste not the food odors are being detected so taste e ikkada manam detect cheyagalutunam where food odors anevi manam detect cheyalem because a person is suffering from cold and fever understand so here we say that taste itself is basing upon some distinguishing chemicals like you know we have salt sour sweet you know all these uh, we can say even you know bitterness and umami the taste which we have learned in the ninth grade when talking about the you know the taste that is about the structure of the tongue ante sense organ tongue gurinchi adukunna appudu mana umami ane taste gurinchi cheppam like savory taste which is a japanese term right so these are all you know distinguishing chemicals which are helpful to understand us the టేస్ట్ ఆఫ్ అ పర్టికులర్ ఫ్లేవర్డ్ ఫుడ్ అందుకే ఏమంటున్నాం సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ టేస్ట్ అలాగే సెన్స్ ఆఫ్ స్మెల్ ఈ రెండు కూడా సైమల్టేనియస్గా దే డిస్టింగ్విష్ దేర్ ఓన్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్స్ బేసింగ్ అపాన్ ద ఫ్లేవర్ ఫుడ్ దట్ వీ ఈట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో లెట్స్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ మోర్ క్లియర్లీ బై డూయింగ్ అన్ యాక్టివిటీ నెంబర్ టూ